Hi, it's Anne. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a process I did for fun. It was to paint with my left hand, which is my not dominant hand, just to see uh, what it would look like. And I learned a lot, so let's go check it out. The first thing I did was picked a relatively simple landscape to paint so I didn't feel overly burdened by details or complicated structure. I barely sketched anything and I wanted to leave room for interpretation just to see how coordinated my left hand was. I wasn't really sure I'd be that coordinated. So as you can see, I mostly did a wet and wet style for the sky and I kind of sporadically went around from starting at the blue of the sky, then I started adding in magenta and cadmium red light, orange and pink streaks, and I blended them with a little bit of water. At this point, I was pre pretty surprised that my left hand was still showing like some of my characteristic style of my right hand. And it kind of made me think that a lot of what's going on um, in my brain is more important than what's actually going on with my hand. I kind of have these characteristic like pointed shapes that I always draw and I think I always have a tendency to brush until I get to the tip of the watercolor brush and make like these pointed shapes and I started seeing that in the clouds and was pretty surprised. I think one of my tips would be if you practice with your um, non-dominant hand is doing a lot of wet on wet and just letting your hand get, get used to blending the colors and trying to get your hand used to dragging the opposite direction because that was a learning curve for me is is normally I, I'm so used to everything dragging right to left when I'm painting a landscape or when I'm painting the sky that doing it from left to right felt so strange. One other thing else I noticed too is that I would work a little bit slower than my with, with my right hand. I felt like my right hand my right hand knows what it's doing and sometimes I'm not even thinking when I'm painting but my left hand I have to be a lot more deliberate. I was getting a little bit frustrated that I wasn't able to um, get the brush to do exactly what my right hand was used to doing, so it started to feel a little bit more uh, blurred and less detailed, and I felt like I had a little bit less control. But it wasn't that big of a deal because it ended up making the painting look a lot more abstract, which was really cool. I still used my typical technique of either working back to front or light to dark, and um, kind of blending things as I go. I tend to use like a little bit less water in my brush than, than I think the average person, but I used a little bit more here and I kind of created a more like watery atmosphere, more wet on wet look. And then once things would dry, I would go in with the point of my brush and try to get those details, those dark flowers, those plants right in front. And um, it was kind of funny because I really like having a very sharp, fit, fine point, a thin point. And like this brush was like not cooperating. So you can kind of see that a lot of the like wispier grasses kind of got fat and I just added more. <laughs> kind of just learning as I go. The biggest surprise this whole process for me was I felt like my brain was opening new neural pathways as I was doing this. And I was realizing that a lot of what I do when I create on the page and when I paint like this is happening in my brain and less so with my hand and with fine motor skills. I really encourage you to, if you have the opportunity to draw or paint with your non-dominant hand and just see what comes out and see what your style is or like what you can isolate about it so you can break any creative molds that you have and try something new. So here's a look at the final piece. I got a lot of positive responses out of it and people really liked it and I do see my style in it and it was quite an experience actually. So if this was helpful or fun, please go ahead and like and subscribe and thank you for watching.